San Francisco is known worldwide for its iconic cable cars and fantastic views. Riding the cable cars up and down the hilly streets of San Francisco is one of the most popular tourist attractions. It's a thrilling ride with awesome views. This video shows you how to maximize your fun and time while riding the cable cars. San Francisco has three cable car routes. We give you tips on being a pro rider, but first you need to understand that cable cars are run by a cable underground that run at a constant nine miles per hour. A cable car gripman uses a pincher contraption to hook the cable. There's two places to get cable car tickets. They're located next to the cable car turnaround at either end of the popular Hyde Owl route. The ticket booths do accept credit cards and the current fare is $8 one way or 16 round trip. Here's a pro tip, if you want to be able to get on and off and visit places like Lombard Crooked Street or Chinatown, buy an all-day pass for $24. You can also buy a one-way ticket on the car itself with cash, but there's no guarantee you'll get cash back. Right next to Union Square, the Powell Street turnaround is the most popular because it serves both the Mason and the Hyde lines that go to Fisherman's Wharf. Like a good Disney ride, the Powell Street cable car takes about an hour to wait here, but it's worth it. The easiest way to start your ride is at the turnarounds at the beginning of the line. There are stops along the way, but the driver may not stop if the car is pretty full. The further you are away from the turnarounds, the more likely it is you'll get on. A cable car holds about 32 people, depending on how many are sitting, standing, and how big people are. We're at the Powell and Mason cable car turnaround spot. You can see that the line is not anything like uh, when you board over on Powell by Union Square. Easy to get on here. It's a fun walk through Fisherman's Wharf to get from the Mason turnaround to the Hyde Street turnaround. The wait at the Hyde Street turnaround is about 20 to 30 minutes. Cape cars leave about every 8 to 15 minutes. The ride from Union Square Powell turnaround to Fisherman's Wharf, either at the Mason or the Hyde lines, is about 18 minutes. Here's a pro tip. As you ride to Fisherman's Wharf, the right side has the best views. And as you ride back to the Powell turnaround, the left side has the best views. The Hyde and Mason lines that run to Fisherman's Wharf are the most popular, but another option is the California line. This cable car starts near the Embarcadero and Ferry Building at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. There's usually no line or a small one. Pro boarding tip. Since you're in a line to get on, it appears like you have to funnel in with everybody else, but you don't have to. When the cable car is stopped, you can go around the front or the back to get to the other side if that's your preference. There are three main seating areas, seating inside, seating outside on either side, or standing on the running board next to the outdoor seats. On the running board, you are right adjacent to somebody in the seat. Fun fact about the California Line cable cars, there are no turnarounds, because the brakeman has a station at either end of the car. The California Line cable car goes through the San Francisco Financial District, the tip of Chinatown, and up to Knob Hill, a place of historical wealth and privilege. And now has the Mark Hopkins Hotel, the Fairmont Hotel, and the Gothic-style Grace Cathedral. The California Line ends at Polk Street, which has quaint shops and restaurants, and historically is known as a gay district. Cable cars are so famous, they have a museum. The Cable Car Museum is about a 20 minute walk from Union Square at Washington and Mason and it's also right on the Mason and Hyde cable car lines. The building is the original barn for the cable cars from the 1870s. The San Francisco cable cars are the world's last manually operated cable car system. Hit the like button and we'll see you later.